Hey folks, we're doing the install video for the MZS levers. These are, in this case, short, adjustable, black and red, but you can get them in a variety of colors, levers that are available for a lot of bikes. Uh, if your bike is not on their list, you bought something strange, or it just isn't something you would normally put these kind of levers on. I really like them so far. I've only had them on there for about a day now, but let's talk about what tools I use to put them on because the video was really windy out and I didn't want to do the audio while I was doing it. So we're gonna run through it. A socket wrench, it could be a quarter inch, it doesn't need to be the big three eighths. These are not, you're not torquing these down real hard. 10 millimeter socket on the CB300R. Another 10 millimeter. I would have one be a wrench, one be a, a socket because depending on the positioning, it can be a pain to get the wrench in there, or sorry, the socket in there. Again, not a ton of torque. If you have two of these, no problem. Flat bladed screwdriver, a bigger one. Uh, this is minimal. I would go bigger if you had one. Can be a short one. You don't need a lot of reach or anything. Uh, the clutch lever uses this instead of a socket on the top. I have no idea why, none, no idea whatsoever. You could replace both of them with this style. Uh, they are available, you can get them titanium, you can get them stainless steel, you can get them all sorts of things. I may do that, and I, even if I only replace the one on the clutch side, because my clutch side lever was not corroding, but like the interior of that area was not happy. And I cleaned it all out, I lubed everything up, but putting in something that that pivot cannot rust wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, for some reason I did not have that problem on the other side, the brake side, I don't know. A couple non-traditional items. Some form of grease that is weather safe. Uh, I'm using Tetra gun grease because it's what I've got. I'm putting this on the bolts, on the, the flat portion, the smooth portion where they pivot on, the levers pivot on. I'm also putting it on the portion of the levers that is in the mechanism, sliding back and forth, uh, you know, moving, where it's got metal on metal contact in the housing. Why not? Why not slick that area up? Why not help prevent corrosion? Easy, cheap. Uh, it is suggested for the pivots no matter what. So I use this, use whatever. Uh, there's a million options out there. The other thing I used was some Slip 2000 EWL. You could use anything you want. I was using it as a cleaner and then a general purpose rust preventive measure. Uh, I used it to clean out the area in the pivots uh, you know, in the mechanism where the, the levers are going to sit. I use it to clean my pivots. It's just a way to do better than just, you know, a paper towel, uh, which is the other item you need. I would have some shop towels just for cleaning things off, wiping off excess, you know, grease from your fingers. Why not? And that is it. That, I mean, really, you can do this whole process in five minutes. It, it's going to, you're going to watch this video and be like, I could have done it in less time than that video.
Take care, have fun, stay safe, and don't be afraid to change your own levers.